Shalom, Yah Shalom. First and foremost, I give fitting honors to my Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakwadash. I to give double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well in truth and sincerity. Salutations to the shepherds of Berea camp. Salutations to the house of David. Thou art thou died. Man, woman, and children out there, preach the word truth and sincerity. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the most high raise you up in a speedy fashion. It's the priest Karal Kakahan. It's coming to you, Lord. Priest Karal Kakahan from the shepherds of Berea camp. It's coming to you, Lord willing, with an edify and sit down. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, too, uh, you know, Salakia. Yeah. I'm going to say that ahead of time if I cough a few times. <coughs> Throughout this video, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, healing up from a cold, you know, the spirit and power of y'all, about Shemiah Washad, the water Lord for healing me. Uh, something that, you know, our camp was uh, hit with, you know, Satan out here just trying to stop this word and stop brothers. But, you know, he can never hinder the Lord's word, man. So we're going to keep pushing regardless. You know what I'm saying? No matter what infirmities we go through, hey, we take it. We take it as joy, man. Just like it says in the book of the Apocrypha, okay? So, you know, let's get straight into it, man. <coughs> okay, and there's a spirit going on. You know, within Israel dealing with fear, all right? And we got to address this. You know, we have to address this uh, spirit of fear, man. Because this was something that the Lord did not give the brothers. You know, and I'm going to use that word fear as, as an acronym, man. But you know what? First things first, let's get straight to the scripture. We're going to break it down. We got 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Right? The only... The only fear that we're supposed to have is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But the spirit of fear, this is talking about what? Everything else outside of that, man. All right? And we're going to use that as an acronym, man. Because when you look at fear, you're supposed to look at F meaning what? False E, evidence A, appearing what? Real. Meaning what? False evidence appearing real, man. And that's exactly what the society deals with. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? There's no such thing as a pension plan. Okay, but you have people in this world that's willing to bend over, okay, take this jab for their pension plan when it's not real. Credit scores is not real. Okay, the love that you think you get on your job is not real. These people are fake. Okay, and that's what it is. It's a false evidence. You know what I'm saying? You think you can feel something tangible. You think these people smile to your face and they care for you. They don't give a damn about you, man. Only, only person that cares about you is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and the brotherhood that's up under that and up under that name, man. And that's it. Everything else, you have a, if you have a fear for this life, then you have to question. You have to seriously sit down and meditate. Are you of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah? Are you part of that fold? And this goes for every brother. Every brother, everybody that's out there listening, you Akim, you Akwaf, everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what fear is. False. Okay? It's false evidence. It's not real. Appearing real. That's how Satan uses us, man. He gets you all entangled in his web. Dang, man, what I'm gonna do? You know, I, I, you know, brother saying take a leap of faith through the Holy Spirit, but what if I lose this job or how I'm gonna get paid? Or None of that stuff is real. <coughs> okay, and our Lord and Savior understood that. <coughs> Salakia. <coughs> That's why when he came back, he what? He said he was about his father's business. About what? Bringing Israel to repentance. About dying for Israel. Mainly the elect, but guess what? Also Israel, because it says what? All of Israel shall be saved. Yes, they're going to get punished for what they did on this, si on this side, but ultimately we're all going to be in the kingdom. Why? Because the two-thirds of our people, they have a fear of losing this life. When it is all false evidence. The society is not real. It's a matrix. Hey, just like how Amorthius said in, uh, in, in, in the movie The Matrix, he, he looked at Neo when Neo was acting like he was tired and he was... Uh, Huh. And baby said, you think that's air you breathing right now? <laughs> Pretty much saying like, yo, this is not real. How are you going to get faint and exhausted? It's not real. What are you exhausted about? What do you feel like you're missing out in this world? You know, let me, let's, let's go. Let's get to another scripture. We got 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. It says, for the most high is not the author of confusion, but of peace. <coughs> As in all churches of the saints, right? <clears throat> None of this stuff is confusion. Guess what? In its totality, when you're dealing with the Holy Scriptures, the Lord told you everything that you need to know about this world. And it all comes down to what? It's nothing. It's false. And you're going to let this false reality take you out of the truth? That's the difference. False evidence appearing real, but the Lord is giving you the truth. So which one do you want to deal with? We got people right now mourning over... Uh, Kevin Samuels, you know, Kevin Samuels is a so was a so-called, you know, uh, 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 relationship guru, as people wanted to call him. 
And guess what? He just passed within, uh, I guess, the last 24, 48 hours, man. Okay, and that was a judgment from the Lord. You got people mourning over that, but guess what? His whole his whole system was about what? Having you engulfed into that fear, that false evidence appearing to be real. I'm going to keep saying it. Why? Because he was all about the fashion of this world. He was telling you what a, 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 a what's the term he always used, a um, high value man is, but that's contrary to the scriptures. Because if I don't make over, if I don't make uh, $200,000 a year, so what, that means I'm not a high value man? Huh? And guess what? When that image is pushed out there, people start to get a part of that and you feel like you're missing something. If you're not, if, if, if you don't have uh, that Bugatti type car, if you don't have that Benz, you feel like you're missing something. And you're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. That's that fear. But it's, none of it is real. Matter of fact, let me get that, man. I only want to just talk about it. <coughs> you know, this, 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 this video is actually uh, make a little sub subway for s something else, man. I want to get that scripture. But I bring this out to say, what? Well, the Lord is not author of confusion, man. He told you what the truth is. Okay? And we are starting to get engulfed in fear, man. When none of this stuff is real. You're about to lose your crown over something that's not even real. Um, let me see. Is it first... I think it's might be the second chapter. <coughs> Spare me one second, Aki. I definitely want to bring this out. That's the Holy Spirit, because even that's dealing with fear. Uh, nah. You know what? Let's see. Cause I got I got to bring that out now, cause that's 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 the Holy Spirit, man. Cause once again, you know you have individuals. Matter of fact, I think it's the second chapter. And I think it's First Kings. <coughs> First Kings, second chapters. Bear me one second. Let's see. You know, that's all I'm saying. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Let's show what a real high value man is, man. Okay? So we got, you know, I'm going to start from the top. We got First Kings chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, meaning what? Meaning that King David, okay, was getting ready to pass away, getting ready to go to sleep, all right? Pretty much meaning pass away, he's about to die, all right? But we all know there's no such thing as death, okay? You just go to sleep, all right? But before that, he, he had to uh, charge his son and talk to his um, son, which is what? King Solomon. It says, verse 2, I go the way of all the earth, right? Because we all die, okay? It says... Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. You see that? <coughs> that already. First things first. He said what? Be strong and show yourself a man. Okay? So these are characteristics that, that King David was given to his son, King Solomon, as for how to present yourself as a high-value man. Okay? This is how you become a high-value man. Let's bring this scripture out, man. Okay? Because once again, what he was pushing was witchcraft, man. Okay, making you feel like it's all about money, it's all about status, it's all about certain clothes that you wear, okay? And a lot of Akim started to fall into that. Yeah, he was bringing out certain points about the woman, but ultimately, if you're not talking about this truth, if you're not talking about the time of Jacob's trouble, if you're not talking about this RFID chip, guess what? You ain't talking about nothing. If you wasn't talking about raising up Israel, you ain't talking about nothing. We're not in the time of fashion. All right? We're not in a time of, and I'm not saying for brothers, you know, not to take care of yourself, not to groom yourself. But ultimately, what's the image that we're supposed to be pushing? The image of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Not the image of, oh, you got to make sure that you have a certain suit on with a certain tie, you know, the phallic symbol. No. Let me continue on. It says, and keep the charge <coughs> of the Lord thy power to walk in his ways. You see, so these are what a high value man is. This man, Kevin Sims, what the Lord just took out, okay, I believe it said he died at uh, 56, okay, that's the latest news going on right now within Israel. It says to walk in his ways, so he wasn't pushing that. Guess what? Umar Johnson is not pushing that. Tariq Nasheed is not pushing that, okay? Uh, 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 Farrakhan is not pushing that, man. The only ones that's pushing that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah are apostles, the elders of GMS, and all the brothers that follow up under that, under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. That's it. 
That's a high value man. When I look at the apostles and elders of GMS, I look at them as high value men through the Holy Spirit, man. Okay? When I look at priest Don Juan Mayim, I look at him as a high value man through the Holy Spirit. When I look at priest uh, 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 Yalak Mariah, I look at him as a high value man through the Holy Spirit. When I look at priest Rob Shapat, priest Barazar Gabar, priest uh, Malak Bar, I look at them as high value men through the Holy Spirit, man. Why? Because through the best of our ability, this is what we are doing. Okay? And guess what? We're not falling under that fear that the Lord said he didn't even give us, which is what? False evidence appearing real. That's the acronym, man. Okay? We're not a part of the fashion of this world. It says to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments, you see? And that's what, and that's our job through the Holy Spirit, to constantly make sure that we exude that when we're on the highways and byways in our everyday walks of life, no matter where we're traveling to. We could go to Dallas. We could go to we could go to uh, 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 Chicago. We could go to Detroit. We could go wherever. No matter where we are, hey, the scripture tell you what: let your light shine before men. We gotta push that image. So when they see us, they see an image of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and that's how it's always supposed to be. Anytime you're going to, going outside of that circle, you gotta start questioning yourself: Are you part of that fold? Okay, there's no reason that every brother shouldn't be on the same page. You know, you gotta be somewhere at a certain time. Get up early. See counsel. Okay? Certain things shouldn't have to be constantly talked about over and over again. If you move in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit should be dealing with you saying, you know what? You know you got to do something at a certain time. Go take care of it. Matter of fact, yo, if you know that this job don't give a fuck about you and you don't need it, then leave. Go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Don't get engulfed into this world. Don't think that these people that's in this world care about you. Yahweh Shah said what? Know that this world hated you before it hated me. If you're a servant of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, what's another scripture? It's like, I'm just paraphrasing scriptures because I want to finish this, but you know, that's the Holy Spirit dealing now, man. You know, he also say, hey, he said, if this world was up for him, it would fight for him. These individuals you talk to in the world, they're not fighting for the Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. That lets you know. They all about what? The fashion of this world. But let me continue on. <coughs> I don't want to keep rambling. Um, <coughs> it says, and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. That thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. <coughs> See, so no matter what you do, you should be prospering in this truth, man. Okay? Because, again, you have these individuals in the world that say you're not prospering unless you have the new Lamborghini, unless you have the you know, drop top, you know, unless you have the Benz truck. You know what I'm saying? If you're not. If you're not all up into stocks and bonds and, you know, you know, uh, you know, that earn your leisure slash, you know, oh, uh, 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 generational wealth. Well, guess what? What is generational wealth? What is generational wealth? This is generational wealth. You know what? Verse four says that the Lord may continue his word, which he spake concerning me, saying, if thy children take heed to their way. So this is generational wealth. Okay. This is the ultimate wealth. To walk before me in truth. So that truth is the wealth. With all their heart and with all their soul. There shall not fail thee. Said he. A man on the throne of Israel. You see that man? So guess what? King David Guess what? Was dropping nothing but pearls, jewels. You now Jacob always want to say, yo, drop gems. Guess what? He was dropping pearls. Okay? And guess what? This is what King David, this is what King uh, Solomon prayed for. He asked for. Okay? <coughs> prayed for wisdom. And guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah used King David as a vessel to teach his son, King Solomon. King Solomon was what? The wisest man that ever lived, man. Okay? And he said, yo, you continue on with your children. Guess what? They're going to walk in truth. So that's the real generational wealth right there. And this is all through the Holy Spirit. Up Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because, you know, still touching the topic. But, hey, a little subway in there, man. This got to be addressed. This got to be addressed, man. You know? So, it says, not fail the Right. So that's the real generational wealth, man. So I'm going to go back. So these things got to be talked about. <coughs> Ah, Satan trying his hardest, boy. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, man. So guess what? That's what brothers need to constantly push, man. That's the new generation. Because guess what? If we was if we was moving like that from the very beginning, these heathens wouldn't be on top right now, man. If we was moving like that from the very beginning and appreciated that, guess what? Once we saw Eve trying to seek that knowledge from the tree of good and evil, guess what? Adam would have stopped it right there in his tracks. But like, yo, what the hell you doing, man? Didn't the Lord tell you not to? Yo. yo call to the Lord. Yo, yo, this woman that you gave me, yo, what's up with her? You know what I'm saying? And that's how you're supposed to nip it in the butt, man, because we got to continue that generational wealth with what? It's this truth, this knowledge, and understanding. The Holy Scriptures, man. That's what it is. And the more that the 144,000 the elect wake up to this, man, that's when we're going to get up out of here. That's why we see prophecy being fulfilled, but at the same time, we know it's a sifting process, and you're going to have certain brothers that's going to fall victim to that false evidence appearing to be real and that's of satan because yahweh shah just said yahweh bashim shah just said well he didn't give us the spirit of fear so if you are getting that spirit on you where you care more about this world and this truth <coughs> or seek a counsel then you can't be of the lord man and you need to and you need to pray you need to fast you need to seek counsel you need to stop looking at brothers like they're on the same level meaning what meaning stop looking at a brother for his physical age and start looking at him as a spiritual age start saying to yourself is this brother what he's saying is right through the holy spirit is it scriptural not trying to measure hands and all this brother said this but i can do my own thing i right, continue to do your own thing nobody in this truth did their own thing and if and once they did it they was out they fell to the wayside everybody takes orders and you make sure you take it in righteousness sake so let's continue we got luke 4 and 4 <coughs> says <coughs> oh it says because once again let's 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 see what Yahweh what Yahweh Shah did man you should always question when you going to do something what would Yahweh Shah do so we got Luke 4 4 it says and Yahweh Shah answered him saying it is written that man shall not live by bread alone <coughs> but by every word of the most high you see that even within that he showed Shh, I don't got no fear Fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. I ain't got no fear. Like, I think I turned this. To... First things first, that lets you know that's Satan. Because if the Lord was going to turn it to bread, he would have been did it already. So why all of a sudden now the tempter, Satan, got to come over and tell him what? No, I don't need that. And he, and, he, and he answered him beautifully, man. But by every word, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, that's how we live. It's through the word. The word is why everything even exists. So what makes you think I need this tangible bread? None of this stuff real. None of this stuff matters. You think it's yeah, this false evidence? You really think that this bread is, what, is what's sustaining me? You think that's what I need to sustain my stuff? I just fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. What's wrong with you? See, but Satan tried to come at him at, at that time because 40 days, 40 nights, you know, you start, your flesh starts to get weak. But guess what? His spirit just kept building. Okay, that fasting, that praying, that spirit. Kept eating and kept getting revived through the bread of life, man. Okay. Continuing on, verse 5. <coughs> <coughs> and the devil taking him up into a high mountain. Now, this is important. Shown unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a, mo in a mo moment of time. You see that? So now I really break that down. Think about that. That means Satan showed him every kingdom. Every dynasty that happened after that time. He showed him, hey, he showed him Babylon, the, he showed him uh, uh, Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, America. <coughs> <coughs> right? When I say the daughter of Babylon, I mean America. Okay? He showed, he showed him all these different kingdoms that was right before it and coming after it. Okay? You think, you think, you think, uh, uh, Yahweh Shah didn't see? Didn't, didn't, didn't see people being chipped? You think Yahweh Shah didn't see uh, 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 technology where people was fly flying airplanes? Because they wasn't doing that back then. You think he didn't see that? You think you think Satan didn't show him all of that? All the different technologies and cell phones and FaceTimes and all these different things? <coughs> Say so he showed him that in a moment. But let's continue. Verse 6. Because again, all that is an illusion. Why is that? Look, verse 6. It says, And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. <clears throat> For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. Whoa. 
let's stop the <clears throat> few things. First things first. <laughs> this is the only begotten son of Yahweh. This is Yahweh Shah, right? That Satan is tempting. He knows that he, he's the mediator. Yahweh Shah knows he's the mediator between the most high men. Yahweh Shah knows all that stuff is promised to him already. <clears throat> he knows the kingdoms is promised to him already. <coughs> Why would the Lord have to go through Satan to give it to him? See, but that's how Satan gets you. And look at the key word. It says, for that is delivered unto me. So I'll let you know, you just a middleman. But you're a middleman on the left side. Why would I go to you? I have a direct connection to Yahweh. This is Yahweh Shah. People got to go through me to get to Yahweh. So why do I got to go through you? But that's what? That false evidence appearing to be real. That all the kingdoms you're showing is, is fake. It's false. Why is that? <coughs> why is that? Because all this stuff is going to pass away, man. All of this is going to pass away. None of this stuff is real. It's an illusion. And Yahweh Shai knew and understood that. And anything that I get from you, Satan, that means that I'm bowing to you and not going directly to my Heavenly Father. <coughs> but that's what happens in this world. As much as, and this is for brothers that's in the know. Brothers can say the name, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kakwadash. Love you, brother, this, that, and the third. But then the second you walk away from a brother, <coughs> you automatically back in the realm of Satan. <coughs> you automatically giving into your lust. You know, you're automatically not using your brain. You really believe that these people in the world care for you. You know, you believe that they stick up for you when they. A lot of these people play mental gymnastics with you, man. Make you feel like they actually helping you out in a situation when they helping themselves. It's not about you. You know, everything has to be moving through the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> this is why brothers constantly say, have counsel. <clears throat> Don't get engulfed. That's why I originally even brought up that Kevin Samuel situation. Because you got a lot of brothers in this truth that were listening. Like I said, he made some points, but let's not get it twisted. Let's not be over here mourning. Dang, man, yo, we lost a good one. He was sticking up for us with the women and all that. Forget the woman. Guess what? We've been rebuking these wicked women, okay? The women that's out of order through all these scriptures anyway. So what does that mean? You're not coming to that name. What does any of that mean? Cause that's the only lesson that 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 individual was able to give <coughs> and even then it was get you a high value man <coughs> so out of that whole key thing though it wasn't get you a righteous man it was get you a high value man so now you got a man over here making over a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars now he's beating you every single day he's causing you to do sodomite acts he's causing you to have threesomes <coughs> so is that still acceptable is that still a high value man because you never once heard that. You never once heard him push or all those individuals that called saying, hey, I'm looking for a righteous man. They said I wanted a high value man. No, a high value man is a righteous man. But let me continue. Let's see how. Because uh, it's like two topics I'm talking about at the same time, but hey, it all comes together. <coughs> Luke 4 and 7. It says, if thou therefore wilt worship me. All shall be thine, you see? And that's what Satan wants. That's why he gives you that illusion. Because he wants you to worship him. He wants you to look at him as a power. That's why... <coughs> Again, Salaki, this is cough, man. And that's why, you know, Satan... That's why Esau moves the way he moves. Why? He makes you feel like, again... And I'm going to keep reiterating that. Guess what? You'll be a high-value man if you do this job. You got a pension plan, pension plan, pension plan. You know, that echo, <laughs> that echo effect... We'll give you a pension, 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 pension. You see all these different imageries coming on TV. Guess what? <clears throat> Look at this new Benz truck. This new Maserati. This is living. They make sure that they have a nice, you know, sexual lady right there letting you know, listen, if you get this, then you get the woman. 
this is a high value woman because look how gorgeous she looks not a righteous woman but a high value woman right that's the term that they want to use if you don't leave you know you can retire in 20 years 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 you don't want to mess that up take this jab jab jab, jab. you won't be able to travel 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 look at satan yo i'll give you all this if you worship me the hell i need you for All this stuff is promised to us anyway. So what do you need Satan for? When again, he's only giving you the false evidence appearing to be real. The falseness of this wicked society which is going to pass away anyway. Okay, so you enjoy it for a short amount of time. Once again, seeing that I brought that example, let's bring it up again. Kevin Samuels, that's a short amount of time. He just started doing that whole <coughs> so-called relationship guru status in 2017. So okay. You had a little, what's that, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, a little five-year run. Now you don't. Now what? Now when you in front of the judgment seat, what do you say to the Lord? What did you do within that time? Did you push my name? Did you push Israel? Or did you tell people that, you know, they should go to Bible shop and shake their head up? Huh? They should be wearing the most fancy clothes. Make sure you do like this, you do like that. Huh? Verse 8. It says... And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. You see that? <coughs> so get your illusions from behind me, man. You trying to be a damn demon. Well, hey, you Satan, you the adversary. You being a damn devil. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. You see that? Again, that's when we brought that out. The Lord is not the author of confusion. You see that? Yahweh Shah saw right through that confusion, man. You saying you're going to give me all this only if I worship you. I got this already. And two, that's a trick bag. Because if I get it from you, now I got to worship you. Now I have to be what? Subject to sin. I have to push a wicked agenda. See that? Yahweh was a man that never sinned. He didn't serve no other gods. He didn't bow down to anybody. Besides Yahweh. And that's how us brothers got to be in this truth, man. We only serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're not serving men. We're not serving any of these other idols. And guess what? The fashions of this world either, man. Stop putting your faith into all this stuff when it's an illusion. Brothers want to prophesy and talk about all this, the matrix and the matrix. But guess what? Why are you saying that? Why are you on the highways and byways in your everyday walks of life? Are you living it? Once you cut that camera off and then you take your garment off, hey, man, your spiritual garment should always be on. When you, when you look at your fringes, it reminds you of the commandments. You're supposed to be constantly thinking of the commandments when you're walking in your everyday walks of life. I don't care if you're at work. I don't care where you are. You're on vacation. It's never a vacation. It's true. Even if you go on vacation to relax, you're still not relaxed. You're always on point. You see somebody going through some, hey, talk to them a little bit. After like five minutes, yo, or maybe even less. However the spirit go, break out the scriptures to them. See what happens. You're always on call and it's truth. And you got to be examples for other brothers. The way you move, other brothers is right under you watching you. Through the Holy Spirit, I know I gotta make sure that I'm always on point. Through the Holy, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and I pray to the most I direct my steps in righteousness, man. Because it's not me. That's why I'm constantly praying. Brothers gotta constantly pray fast, man. Because this thing is not about you. It's not about what you want to do. It's not about your lust, man. And again, all that stuff, when it comes straight down to it, and these nuclear missiles hit hit all different parts of the world, and you brothers that's here in America, guess what? You're going to realize everything going to pass away and you did all that for what? For you to have your head down in the kingdom? And I'm talking about you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and American Indians, the Israelites scattered abroad, man. Okay, but this right here was a perfect example of how brothers supposed to move. It's nothing, it's nothing that uh, Satan could give you in this society, man, because we already received the glory. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah defeated death. So guess what? We're not supposed to have no fear. He defeated death. What are you fearing? <coughs> Philippians 4 and 13. <coughs> Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Yahweh Shah, which strengthens me. You see that, man? We can do everything. There's nothing in this world that we need. Anything that we do need is Yahweh, comes from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that's all that you need. Yes, you make sure you work, you sustain yourself. But if it means that you're going to you know, undermine your integrity, your morals, 
then why are you in this truth? Yahweh Shah had morals, he had character. He lived by the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You're supposed to constantly say to yourself, what would Yahweh Shah do? And we have to keep reiterating that, especially in these times, man. Brothers starting to get weak, giving credit to certain people that don't deserve no credit. You know, bugging out, thinking life is just a joke. Oh, I'm just going to have that easy. Oh, I'm just going to go through life just easy. You know, just no care in the world because I know other brothers got it. So I'm going to keep depending on other brothers. Yeah, I'll let them take care of it. Yeah, brothers cursed me out and they rebuked me. But yeah, who cares? They'll get over it. And then, you know, they'll just continue. No, it's going to be a point in time. You got to, hey, scriptures tell you, man, to, to uh, 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 put away childish thoughts. Brothers be in their 30s, 40s, in their second childhood, man. Grow the hell up. But do Yahweh Shah, we could do all things, man. So when you have a problem, say, pray to the Lord that he strengthen you. Pray that he make you a better uh, leader in this truth, man. Through the Holy Spirit. And make you a better example for God. Make you a better example for yourself. Because if you don't treat yourself like that, how do you expect to treat another brother like that? No question yourself. Examine yourself. These people that's in the world, you know you treat them a certain way. Do you treat Akim even better than you treat them? You'll constantly tell them everything that you got going on. Do you tell Akim you got going on? That's when you're supposed to say to yourself, something wrong here. But again, that's that fear. You have that fear for the world and what they think about you. Wondering what your how about you, your shining brotherhood think about you through the Holy Spirit. So pray to the most high to strengthen you, man. Let's get it. <coughs> I'm thinking about a whole bunch of precepts, but like I said, I want to kind of make it short to the point. Uh, I'm going to read this last one. <coughs> we got 2 Maccabees 7, and I'm going to start from 28. It says, I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth and all that is therein, and consider that the Most High <coughs> made them of things that were not. And so was mankind made likewise. You see that, man? It said, consider. Sometimes brothers got first things first. You know, this is the book of Maccabees dealing with like, the seven sons. And this was their mother talking, man. And you see, she was talking to, uh, I believe, the last the last son to be uh, pretty much put to death, tortured. <coughs> okay? Because they didn't want to bow down and eat that swan's flesh. And this is how brothers, and this is what brothers are going through right now. And what brothers is actually... Uh, you know, when I say what I say, when I say what I'm saying, let me break it down more. You know, right now, brothers are starting to get, uh, uh, I'll say, chastised through the media. You know, them painting us as being um, uh, radicals, which we're not, as terrorists, which we are not. Okay, they are putting a bad light on us. Why? Because we are against this world and all the fashions of it and the wickedness that they push. Now, it's going to come a point in time where they're going to... Uh, physically, like in this case, torture us, okay? Which is going to be in the time of Jacob's trouble, which we are coming up, coming up upon, okay? And I say, and this is why, you know, it's imperative that Lord willing, this uh, video be edifying when I say false evidence appearing to be real, because you have individuals that literally took this jab, you know, and that time hey, it was swan's flesh, but right now, guess what? You have people that's willing to break their integrity and their morals and standards just so they could go on vacation. So they took that job. Or well, because, you know, their loved ones said, oh, you know, whether it be a daughter, son, nephew, whether it be a rib, oh, you know, how are we going to take care of the rent? How are we going to sustain ourselves? And they took that just so they can survive in this false world and that's why that was so heavy you know in luke fourth chapter when yahweh said what you think man gonna live by bread alone no but by the word of the most high same thing now we're going to survive off the word of yahweh that's why in that time of the famine the lord is going to keep brothers uh 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 sustained the lord is going to continue to feed brothers why because we sustain off Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and therefore he's going to keep us sustained. Okay? We understand that everything we got is through the Lord. So therefore, 
We have no attachments to this wicked society. It says the earth is given into the hand of wicked, Job 9 and 24. So we don't need anything of this world. Anything they try to present to us, we know that it all comes from Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, anyway. So what do we need you for? We're not going to bow down to you and your wicked devices, man. But that's why I wanted to clear that up. Because as I'm explaining this right here, <laughs> you know, this is heavy how it says, and all that there is therein, and consider that the Most High made them of things that were not. You see that? So the things that you see, guess what? Were made of the things that you don't see. The Lord just made all this manifest through a word, man. <coughs> so why would you serve this world? Like the scripture say, you're serving the creature more than the creator. <coughs> why would you serve this world more than the, you serve the creator? Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? And so was mankind made likewise, right? You didn't create yourself. You didn't create yourself. But yet other individuals that was created just like you, you fear them and what they think about you. Where did that concept come from? It didn't come from Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. It came from Satan. Once again, that's why 2 Timothy 1 and 7 said what? He didn't give us the spirit of fear. Verse 29, it says, Fear not this torment. See, so the mother's uh, giving these words of encouragement, man, to her, to her last son. Okay, and this right here, you know, as a side note, you know, it said that, uh, I believe, I for, I'm pretty much paraphrasing, but you know, the Lord said that he pretty much gave her like a manly stomach, man. Okay, so he put that manly spirit on her to be like that. Because, you know, she already lost six six of her sons. Any woman would have been like, oh, no, take it, baby. Just listen to them. Eat the swan. Do whatever. Nah, she like, yo, tsh, keep pushing. Look what it says. Fear not this torment, this tormentor. You see that? Because it's an illusion. It's an illusion. That's not what really matters. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, baby boy. Don't worry about it, son. You got it. It says, but being worthy of thy brethren. <coughs> you see that? Take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. Woo! You see that, man? Hey. Hey, the Lord put that spirit on her when she was like, yo, don't, don't have no fear, man. I'm going to receive you again. But guess what? Through death, I'm going to receive you. I'm going to see you through that mercy. Even that's powerful. Like, I'm, I'm gonna see you again. Don't you worry. But you gotta do this for this for the, for, for the sake. Of your brother went through it. You gotta go through it too. And it's all for a, a bigger cause. It's not about you. This whole thing is not about you. Yahweh Shai understood it wasn't just about him. It was about the nation of Israel. That's why he died on that cross, man. You can't have no fear in this truth. That fear is gonna be a stumbling block, and that's what's gonna lead people to that Revelation 13 and 16 all the way down, man. The M to the M-O-T-B. Verse 30, it says, Whilst she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment. Woo! You see that, man? Hey, that helped even more to boost his spirit up. Yeah, I'm not obeying Esau's commandment, the wicked of this world commandment, these elite banking famous commandment. We don't care. We don't have no fear for this world. You can take our jobs. You can take our money. You can take whatever. Whatever you think that we need of something, you can take it. Hey, the only thing we came to this world with was this truth, and that's that's what we're going to leave out with, man. When we came out of our mother's womb, guess what? We was naked. We didn't have no clothes. We didn't have no Bugattis. We didn't have no, no uh, uh, Versace frames. We didn't have none of that. All we had was this truth. Why? Because it says what? The Lord said what? He fashioned us in the womb, man, with faith. That's what we came out with, and that's what we're going to leave with, man. That's what the 144,000 going to leave with, through the Holy Spirit. But I will obey the commandment of the law that was given unto our fathers by Moses. See, that generational wealth. That's the generational wealth. That's the ones who have real generational wealth. All your earn your legion, all these individuals, guess what? Y'all doing all that for this money, okay? We understand money's a defense, but guess what? All that money going to get burnt up. By nuclear fire. Now what? Now what's going? What, what's, what's going to help you? Is that generational? Is that tangible generational wealth going to help you get on those chariots? Hmm. Hmm. Our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior said, "What? Render Caesar to Caesar." Guess what? That's all his money anyway. Who's on that dollar bill? Whose face is on that dollar bill? So is that real generational wealth, or is that their generational wealth? 
Let's go, man. Verse 31, it says, And thou that has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews. You see that? They cause all this mischief, man. These elite banking families. That, and that family line that comes up under that. These individuals that put it in your head. Yo, guess what? You're going to lose your vacation days. Ah! How you going to pay your rent? How you going to pay your car note? You got to work for us. You got to take this job. Ah! They don't want that push all this mischief, man. Dudes over here, brothers over here, worried about credit scores. None of this stuff is real. None of this stuff is real. Like, nah, but I was thinking, you know, I'm going to stay. I got to do this. I got to do this overtime. I got to do it. None of that stuff is real. All that taxation is not real. What are you bugging out for? It says, shall not escape the hands of... Of the most high. So guess what? Esau, you're not going to escape, man, for bugging out our people. You're not going to escape for all the mischief that you've done, for all the lying, the robbing, the stealing, the killing. You're not going to escape out of that, man. You got a lot to pay for, man. It says, verse 32, it says, for we suffer because of our sins. You see that? And you see that? And, and, and that right there is honorable. He, he recognized, though, the reason we suffer is because of our sins, man. You're not escape. You're not going to escape the bullshit that you did, but it's because of us mm -hmm. why we going through this. That's the only reason for what we did. We gotta serve out our punishment. Verse thirty-three, and and thou, <coughs> and though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastising and correction, right? And you see that even, and that's a beautiful spirit. Because you see that he says a little while. So you see all these key words, man. A little while for our chastening and correction. This is not this is light. This is little. This is a little while. Matter of fact, let me see something, man. Let's see if I can find that real quick. So I can I want to see if I can uh <coughs> bear with me. Oh man. Con, 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 con. It was beautiful pushing this truth, Akim. This truth is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Rain, sleet, snow, sickness, whatever, man. We're going to keep pushing. Lord gave us a mouthpiece. We're going to use it. Lord gave us a brain. We're going to use it, man, to serve him. Uh, Yeah, here we go. Matter of fact, verse 18, get to the point. It says, Romans 8 and 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You see that, man? <coughs> you see that, man? So, look, Paul was breaking that down like, yo, this is light. It's a light affliction. This is, yo, what we going through can't even compare to the glory of the kingdom of heaven, man. So this is nothing. This is light. This is small. Okay? So going back real quick, just want to get that preset. Uh, should I don't, don't lose your spot now? Don't lose your spot. All right, cool. Verse thirty-three it says, "And thou, and though the living <coughs> Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one. Yet shall he be at one again with his servants. You see that? Because guess what? Ultimately, all of Israel gonna be saved. We all gonna be in the kingdom of heaven." All of Israel is going to bow to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and acknowledge that name, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Yahweh, which is the heavenly follower, which means he exists. Okay? Bahashim, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shah, meaning what? He is the savior. He is the deliverer, man. Okay? And Yahweh Shah is who you people so ignorantly call Jesus Christ. It says, verse 34, But though, but thou, <coughs> oh, godless man, and of all other and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the servants of the Most High. And you know what? They think they're getting away with that, man. Okay? They're getting puffed up with what? Their RFID technology. Okay? The fact that they have all these different type of drones, all these different type of missiles, satellites in the heavens. You know, the fact that they can listen to your calls. Hey, right now. You know, I'm doing a video on my laptop. I'm sure they're listening to me while I'm, while I'm doing the video, not posting it up, but just doing the video. They're listening to our phones, all these different type of radiation, all these different tracking devices. Yeah, they lift it up. You know, the fact that they can constantly kill you in the street, no repercussions. You know what I'm saying? 
Kyle Rittenhouse just shoot somebody up and then you just throw away the murder weapon and say, nah, we throwing that away? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Matter of fact, I think you just had somebody try to you just had somebody try to uh, do a pretty much an assassination attempt on uh, Dave Chappelle. And I believe in that article. I believe in the article they already was talking about how they was uh, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to say the term throwing away the weapon, but they made it seem as if it wasn't an assassination. Like, you know, what? I don't want to quote what happened. But basically, once again, it's showing that it's looking like he ain't, it's not going to be as severe as it should be. OK, I'll say that. Because I can't quite remember, but basically they was dumbing down the charges, which was so obvious that he was attempting to uh, assassinate him. But they pretty much dumb it down the charges, man, like they always do. I don't want to say they threw out the weapon, but they dumbed it down, which is what this devil always does. <coughs> it says, yeah, it says, lifting up thy hand against the servants of the Most High, right, man? And guess what? And that's exactly what y'all did. It says, verse 30, 35. <coughs> But thou has not yet escaped the judgment of almighty power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, who sees all things. You see that? So y'all didn't escape anything. Just because the Lord let you rule for a little season, you know, you, you that pride left it up. Like, yeah, we can't be touched. You see, he ain't doing nothing to us. Matter of fact, we're going to do more. We're going to conquer more land. We're going to put in more mandates. Okay, we're going we're gonna to put more sanctions. Okay, we're going to put more invisible lines in this world to say that we own this, we own that. We're going to call that our own name. You know what I'm saying? We're going to, we're going to, uh, 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 we're going to mock, you know, we're going to mock these Israelites. We're going to say that we the power. We're going to say that we Yahweh Shah. We're going to put up Yahweh Shah's image and whitewash it. But guess what? The Lord sees all of that. Even, even certain things that, oh, I can don't see. The Lord sees everything. And you're going to have to pay for it. Verse 36, for our brethren who now have suffered a short pain. You see that? A short pain. This is short. Brothers is bugging out over this fear. False evidence appearing real. This is short. It says, are dead under the Most High's covenant for everlasting life. You see that, man? So, hey, you go through that, but guess what? If you continue to push this truth, man, to death, like it tells you in the scriptures, guess what? You're going to have that everlasting life, man. And that's what brothers is aspiring for. That's what brothers is pushing for. That's why we have no problem pushing away this wicked world, because we know that, guess what? We're going to be under that covenant of having everlasting life, man. And this real world is going to be revealed, this real establishment. Which is what? Of righteousness sake. Everything in this thing is false. Matter of fact, they push false. Falseness as righteousness and righteousness as falseness in this world, man. Why would you want to be a part of it? It's his folly is said great dignity, man. But thou, through the judgment of the Most High, shalt receive just punishment for thy pride. You see that? So guess what? Ultimately, we all going to be under that everlasting life, man. Under that covenant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But you... <coughs> Esau, okay, the wicked of this world, you're going to receive that just punishment, man, for your pride. Verse 37, but I, as my brethren, offer up my body and life for the laws of our fathers. You see that, man? The laws of our fathers, man. Be seeing, beseeching, <coughs> beseeching the most High that he would speedily be merciful unto our nation and that out and by so like let me read that again <coughs> ah come on it says verse 37 but i as my brethren offering up my body and life for the laws of our fathers beseeching the most high that he would speedily be merciful unto our nation <coughs> and that thou by torments and plagues mayest confess that he alone is the most high. You see that, man? So all this, all of this was for what, man? For the nation of Israel, okay? All this was set as an example. And that's why you're going to have martyrs in this truth. That's going to die for the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And guess what? These are uh, faith-boosting scriptures right here, man. These are faith-boosting scriptures. So we go through these torments, but guess what? That's all for what? 
to show the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Satan, you are not going to win. You've been losing. You've been on a downfall. Since Yahweh Shah went on the cross, you was on a decline. We already got the victory, Akium. Verse 38, it says, And that in me and my brethren, the wrath of the Almighty, which is justly brought upon our nation, may cease. Once again, showing you what? Every judgment of the Lord is righteous, man. All this was just what's going on with us. Okay? But we got to go through this so that in due time, guess what? All this will cease. And that righteous kingdom is going to be established, which we have faith and we believe in and we know what's going to happen, man. We just have to wait on the Lord. Verse 39. Then the king being in a rage. You see that, man? Why? Because he, he spoke truth say. Truth to say what? The righteous stand bold as a lion, man. As a lion. And he spoke that truth, man. Now the king got upset. Said, then the king being in a rage handed him worse than all the rest and took it grievously that he was mocked. You see that? And that's why y'all brothers got to understand what you win. When we making these videos, when we on the highways and byways, when we constantly telling people about Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, how to carry their self, okay? You know, not to be eating no pork, not to be eating no shrimp, not to be eating anything unlawful. You know, carrying yourself a certain way. Respect yourself. Respect Yahweh Bashim. Respect and fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You know, just, you know, pushing the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities, you have to understand that these devils are in a rage. Stop acting like you, you don't know what you win. Y'all brothers wonder why certain people just pass you, want to spit on you, get upset at you. You be like, yo, this chick was just bugged out. You know, it ain't about them just being bugged out. You think they ain't see your videos? They, you think they don't know who you are? Those demons on them know who you are. Stop acting surprised. Damn, man, you're giving me a hard time on my job today. I don't know what's going on. Why everybody acting like that? What do you mean why they acting like that? You think they don't know who you are? Grow up. Know what you win. Once again, Yahweh Shah said what? Know that this world hated me. If it hated me, then it's going to hate you. The servant is not what? Greater than his master. So he handled him worse than all his other brothers, man. But ultimately, what, what happened? They all got the victory anyway. Because that was just a short amount of time. Yeah, he went through a little something. But guess what? Now, he's part of that book of life. That's what brothers are inspiring for. You're going to have some that's going to be martyrs for this truth. You're going to have some that's not going to go through it like that. But it doesn't matter. Ultimately, we, everybody is pushing that name. 144,000 is going to push that name, man. Let me finish this off. Verse 41. It says, last of all, <coughs> last of all, after the sons, the mother died. See that? Wow. The Mosai sustained her, man, just enough. To give her that manly stomach, man, you know, to to uh, speak and encourage her sons through the Holy Spirit. Because that was the Holy Spirit that was uh, talking through her, man. You said that she passed after that. Uh, might as well finish this off. Verse 42, it says, let this be enough now to have spoken concerning the idolatrous feast and the extreme tortures. You see, so... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna end it there. I wanted to be shorter, but hey, this is the Holy Spirit, man. Sometimes the Spirit moves. The, hey, this Holy Spirit gonna move how I want to move. I just pray that all, all together, this was edifying. <coughs> you know, and that's what this is, man. Okay, y'all brothers, pray that the Most High take away that fear from all of you, because that's not nothing that He gave you. That comes from Satan. That comes from you constantly being a part of this world and starting to believe. In that matrix, starting to believe in that illusion. And that's why, again, you know, fear, F E A R, false evidence appearing to be real. Okay, now this thing is real, Akim. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't let no man take your crown. Pray that the most side direct your steps in all righteousness, man. Okay, so with that being said, I pray this has been edifying. <coughs> I'd like to give infinity honors to my Lord and Savior, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Kakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well in truth and sincerity. Salutations to the shepherds of Bread Camp. Love y'all, brothers. Salutations to House of David. <coughs> Dawah, da -da -da. Man, women, and children out there for this word, truth, and sincerity. <coughs> Salutations to the hopeful elect. And the most I raise y'all raise y'all up in a speedy fashion. Till next time, Lord willing. Shalom. <coughs>